All right, so I thought I'd show you a little demo of this uh, program I made I call Meatbag Pick and Place. And so it helps you as a human actually do a bit of pick and placing. Um, and basically I designed this because if you're building up you know, a board uh, for the first time, sometimes it can be a little tedious. This one isn't too bad, but I was doing a number of revisions of a fairly complicated dual-sided board and it gets sort of tedious looking up the parts. You, you have a big stack of them, and then you've got to place them all on the board. Um, so to use this tool, it needs you to be able to generate a pick and place file. Um, so I'm using Altium, and I have set up the library part such that just moved on me, um, such that it has unique part numbers basically from most of the parts. You see a few are missing them. Um, but this means like when I put a 200 ohm resistor down, it actually has the part in the digit key order and stuff. So um, I use that to generate bombs really easily. Uh, it also means the pick and place files are basically all set up and linked to that uh, order list that I just did. So how the tool itself works is you load this, this file um, and you can select top or bottom side for a build. So it'll separate the... Um, the board out if, if you have dual sided and then you just load an image of it so you can see I've just screenshotted the Altium 3D uh, it even has the GUI in there a little bit so it's a you know whatever pretty easy thing to do uh, you could probably generate a proper one if you wanted but this works for now and I told it to size of the board um, so using this it can, can go from the pick and place file locations to board locations um, and then all I do is the software can decode either the digikey barcodes, the QR codes, or um, Mouser, uh, well this is a reel that was from Mouser, but the Mouser's uh, bags have some different stuff on them. Um, so they tend to have like, a, a, they use like the linear barcodes. Um, and they'll have like a Mouser part number and a manufacturer part number um, or something like that. So. I actually have two, there's two barcode readers here, and you can also just click on the bomb, I'll show you. But um, there's two barcode readers because one of them is like a standard um, laser, sort of spinning laser type. You can see it has that line. I don't know if you can see it projected. It's pretty dim. Um, this works really well for the linear codes. The other one is for the QR codes. It can do the linear codes, but um, so it just has a little camera in there. There's no spinning laser. Um, I find on the linear codes it gets confused really easy, especially uh, the Mercer bags have a bunch of codes close together and they're really long and it'll read the wrong one all the time. So um, it's just faster to have two of them, it, which is, and you know, these are like 12 bucks off at Amazon, so it works. Um, it's not a big investment. All right, so to use it, um, say I was placing this, so I have like reels of 1K and stuff like that. Um, all I would do is make sure I have focus on the window and then I'll just scan uh, one of these part numbers um, and it'll then, well actually I already had that highlighted now, um, it'll then highlight the part. So scan, let me just zoom in. Um, it puts a red dot over where the placement is and then I just hit space and it jumps between the, um, the different ones. So you can see that red dot move down there, space again. And it sort of marks it as complete. Um, so then it'll say done uh, over here in the window uh, when it's finished placing. And for any part you scan, this board has all top side ones. Um, it'll tell you top and bottom side designators. Because one issue I run into is that I have a whole stack of parts. Some of them are only top side, some are top and bottom side. Um, so you can also know if you're going to need, basically if you should keep the bag um, or not. And like. With the DigiKey, we can do a demo of that. I need this one. So DigiKey has two types of barcode, you'll see. Um, it basically just passes the stuff up to the server. Same with the mouse to actually get the data out. And you can see there, it just said placing the crystal. Um, yeah, so it's a pretty simple system. Um, the other thing you can do is sometimes they have stuff that uh, you know isn't in a barcode. Like I just have a book of resistors. So if I click on any, say this 2.2 microfarad cap, um, I'm gonna click on any one of them and it actually jumps to the first placement. So you can see it loads the placement list still, um, jumps to the first placement. And again, I can just use space to go through the placement process. So 
after you place each one, you just hit space to uh, to move onward. So yeah, that's just a quick overview of the uh, the meat bag pick and place. So I just put this on GitHub. It's just a quick little uh, project I did that I find useful enough, um, at least for building boards really quickly. Um, and feel free to extend it, but hopefully that gives you a little overview of what it is.